Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Blair Stromborn. I'm gonna do a real quick video. Um, it just is easier for me to make videos to help people out than to write out things. So, if you come to our, if you want, if you're interested in learning about the Kant Combat System, feel free to drop into our region on Kintly, and I'll p put the link in the description. This combat system has lock picking, PvP, magic, pickable doors, searchable chest and things like that so if you want to know about it more just drop by here this this is only a, about how to use the master hud to equip items weapons the master hud is the key ingredient to the whole system so i'm gonna go ahead and show you any anywhere you're at that's running the combat system you'll see something that looks like this right here this white sign here it says Con Combat System Epic Open Sim Gaming. So anywhere you're at, you'll need to touch that and get the Master HUD. Okay, that's your main driving tool for the whole combat system. And you can see some text over it. You can set your character up for it and all that stuff. So this is basically the equipping tutorial. So I'm going to show you if you want to equip. So you need to equip a HUD, right? Right here on the thing, you see character update draw, equip, give, detach, okay? Hit equip, and it'll come up with item special. If you touch the specials part of the text, it'll say items HUD, items armor, and it goes through to items tools, items weapons, and then crafting, which is all these little icons. Now, a lot of people say, well, dang, it's so small, I can't see. Well... It is small, but it represents something. And if you just touch it one time, you'll see that it says, like, clay lump 4 in text on anything that you touch. Okay. So now we're wanting to equip the master HUD, I mean, the level 1 battle HUD. So we go to HUDs, and then we go to uh, level 0 battle HUD. Okay. And to equip it, you can touch it to get the name, but if you want to equip it, you touch it hold the mouse down for two seconds release it so you touch the left mouse button on it hold it down for two seconds release it then you'll get this window here it's asking to attach your avatar you do yes then you'll get another attachment request and an animation request always select the attach first so we want to attach then yes to the animate then you get to pick your genre so it would be male or female would be or your gender sorry male or female Okay, and as you can see, we got some new, really nice looking HUDs that we made. And I'll I'll run through a quick, uh, quick um, run through of those in just a minute. We've also implemented um, um, magic into the mix now, and so uh, th there's no better time to show you now the different HUDs. This is the basic level zero battle HUD that you get. And you get a level one respawn button, a capture button, and a healing rain button. So that's your only heal that you get beginning the game. Now, if you've never played the game, you also need to to touch the signs that'll be available wherever you go to play Conk at. There's several regions now running it. And you'd want to look for something like these two icons. These three icons actually Quest HUD, Level Zero HUD. Uh, fist and you just touch those to get them so we're going to equip our fist so we go to weapons change this to weapons and we'll go to weapons right here and you'll see right here if I touch it it says left fist touch and hold it for two seconds release it here's your attachment button the same thing you hit yes and you're basically ready to go all you have to do now is just draw from right here on your head. So you would draw your fist. Another key note to remember, always be in character if you want to um, interact with anything, if you want to fight NPCs, because everything's nothing's going to respond to you if you're not in character. That means if you're looking to craft and you want to go cut some wood up with a... Uh, chopping axe well you're not going to be able to unless you're in character and there's a little red box right here that's an npc now we're gonna we're gonna fight this npc but we need to be in character if i walk over here 
and above my head is the out of character text it's red so if I walk over here you can see that it's not going to spawn but if I go in character and walk over there go to character I see go in character if you give it just a few minutes it'll turn blue now if we walk over here we're going to get a enemy now I'm going to go a mouse view because I like mouse view a lot better and he's here <coughs> Punches, but I never like to play like this. It's just too hard for me. But if you do that, you can. Little lag there. Okay, he's whooping my butt a little bit. I'll do a combo on him. Another combo on him. But I'm gonna go back to the hospital. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna use my healing rain, so I my healing rain, so I cam out. Healing rain. Myself as the target, and then go kill me. I'll go back in the house. And I'm gonna work with that. So, anyways, this is the basics of equipped in the items. Now, say I wanted to equip a tomato because I'm running low on health, I'd zoom out of my camera, which for me, I'm in mouse look. So, I go to equipped, and I don't know why it keeps coming up. Weapons. Oops, I passed it up. Now in combat, it's a little difficult, but you see it right there. I would use it. I think I got away from the NPC, yeah. And right now, I'm getting healed by the tomato, and you'll see it says equip tomato. So let's go ahead and kill this NPC. <laughs> simple that's it this it needs to be the end of the video because that's all you have to do anything in this window you equipped it from holding it down now you are if you have a HUD attached and you change HUDs then it's not going to attach that HUD you need to go to detach right here and you see it says left fist it says be battle HUD detach all and one well you can detach the battle HUD only and it'll detach your fist for you and then if you detach all, it'll detach everything, all your weapons and everything. So we're going to do another equip. We're going to equip. And these are potions and things. I'm going to go to HUDs, and I'm going to do a cleric HUD. Hold it down for one, uh, two seconds. Attach your avatar, yes. Attach your avatar, yes. Mail, yes. And, um, and here we got the cleric HUD. And, um. I'll do an overview of all these HUDs um, probably here in a few days to show their abilities and stuff. There's a lot of them already out there. The newer ones I hadn't made anything for yet. So we'll be doing that soon. But um, anyways, that's about it. That's how you equip and dequip. So now say I'm done playing and I want to go somewhere else. Or I want to go to another sim that's playing and I want to play there. Key to remember is always detach everything before you leave because if you do not, then it'll be stuck to you when you get there and it'll be unoperational. It won't work. Okay, so all you have to do to do that is detach all. Detach all. That's it. So I'm going to go through it one more time real fast. If you're new, you'd hit this one, this one, and this one, which is the quest HUD, level zero HUD, and fist. If you're ready to play, you'd hit this. Touch it. Attach your avatar. Yes. Your main master HUD down here and for all your inventory so anything in inventory you don't you get to equip equipped tomato soup equip the tent which a lot of these equips will just rest something in the area or send you something it does various things but um mostly for your weapons like your HUDs like say we want to do the archer HUD hold it down yes equip it yes yes now, there's my archer HUD. If I touch it, it'll expand out. There's my abilities. I can collapse it. And then, um, if I want to equip my weapon, I can go to equip. Just click through to I'll see weapons. It's right here. Say spiral flare bow. It's one of the best bows so far we got. Yes, attach. Yes, attach. And we're ready. Go in character, character. I see. Draw my weapon. 
I'm ready to fire my weapon. And, oh yeah. We're firing our bow. Beow. Bow works great. A spiral flare bow can be a, a melee too. Now when you're in not in mouse look, you can use your left mouse button to hold it down and your arrow keys to do combos with it. And this is a really good bow. So there we go. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed and hope you figure it out. Have a good one.